Hey guys, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one uh, wondering what's normal for these trucks as far as temps go. Um, I gotta say ambient temperature plays quite a bit of a role, especially when you're towing with these pickups. Obviously this truck is brand new, has 154. You know, I got nothing in the bed and I got nothing behind me, so as far as the trailer goes. So, ambient temperature being 66. Guys, anything under 70, these pickups are happy. Anything over 70, they get sluggish. And I would say about 90, anything over 90, you're going to run higher numbers as far as your temps go on your oil, trans, and uh, coolant. Now, as far as traveling, down the interstate i'll show you normal numbers now for 60s you know higher 60s this is perfectly normal numbers if you look at it i got 192 for coolant 161 for trans uh, or 203 for engine oil and then uh excuse me and then 50 psi for pressure those are normal you know they're they're really not going to vary and even I said ambient temperature, they're probably not gonna vary with an empty pickup. This is solely with a uh, trend, not solely. You'll notice on an empty pickup too, but primarily I'm talking about with a trailer behind you. Anywho, so these are normal numbers. You're gonna ask, what about gas mileage? Let me show you gas mileage. I've been on the road for, um, I think I've been on the interstate for 100 miles uh, since I ever set this. So 18.9, um, that's that's fairly accurate. You know, I reset this yesterday evening. I'm doing 17.7, so 20 miles were idling. Out of those 20 miles, a lot of city, really slow city, and uh, and idling. There's a lot of you know variables in that one. So let's just focus on this one. 18.8, you know, um, well 18.8 now it was 18.9. Um, just round it up, you know, 19 miles a gallon. That's pretty normal if i were to stay on the interstate the whole time for those 100 miles i pulled over once idled for a little bit um, that kills it you know it's pretty accurate calculation so if you're sitting there idling it'll, it'll run that number down and give you a fairly accurate number so as far as gas mileage goes guys what are you supposed to expect um for flat grounds uh, 1920 is, is a good number. It's where you should, you should be at. That's where I should be at. By the time I'm done with this trip, I'll be about 20. Now, that's on a brand new truck. A truck with over 50,000 miles on it. Yeah, I'm traveling with my family. My uh, almost one-year-old baby girl is excited to play with her toys. But anyways, uh, I'm almost back there to help her. Anyway, so I gotta say that 20 to 21 bracket is where you need to be at as far as gas mileage goes um you can get more but we're going outside of the stock spectrum this is a 100 percent stock vehicle and stock numbers empty pickup nothing in the bed nothing behind you these are the numbers you're supposed to be expecting i could say what you're supposed to expect with the gooseneck and yada yada but there's so much variables that i'm not even gonna bother going down there right but if you guys uh, summarize what I what I tow, you know, if you guys have watched my other videos on average what I tow, you know, for me, if I see 12 miles a gallon, that's a solid, that's a solid average for me. 12 to 13 is where I need to be at for, you know, a 2,000 mile trip average. Anywho, so that's, that's what I got to share. You know, I, I emphasize on gas mileage, but I mean, pretty much that's all you guys really want to know. Uh, what are normal temps? And what about gas mileage? Well, let me let me finish off this tri uh, this little video by saying, what's the max, guys? 210 is the max I ever want to see in my pickups. Do my pip pickups go over 210? Oh yes. If they're uh, if they're let's just put it this way: if it's a 100% stock truck, it will go over 210, hauling a gooseneck. You know, really steep grades, even at 67 ambient, especially when it's you know over 70 outside. They climb pretty quick. Uh, personally, I don't want to see anything over 210. I mean, if the guy's telling, you know, pulling in 250, I tell him to slow down and uh, really slow down. Which it's a double-edged sword at that point because you're moving slower, less cooling. But in theory, the guy should be stressing the engine less. So just keep dropping gears. That's all I got to tell my guys. That's all I tell my guys. Keep dropping gears where you know you start maintaining somewhat of a 
but cool. I know it starts defueling at 210 as well, so I think as far as cooling goes, 210 is, is entry red, and uh, 215 is an absolute red for me. And I know that you don't, in a lot of situations, you can't go around that if you're in traffic and you start slowing down, it's going to be bad, so you just keep going, but that, know that that's the max you should ever go. Now, as far as trans, um, I never want to see my transmission past 200. I think I've seen it twice, and it was solely for screwing around off-roading, you know, this is on my personal truck. As far as work rigs go, I really don't see it past 186. That's in town hauling a gooseneck. I'm pretty sure that if I were to run these trucks more consistently personally, unlike a driver behind the wheel, uh, I, I, I'd be able to tell you 100%, oh, I've never seen this number. I'm just telling you from my experience. And you gotta put in perspective, I, in perspective, I probably drive these work trucks not even 5% of the time. I gather information from my true professional drivers and I always talk to them and see what's what, what's where. Uh, but when I do drive them once in a blue moon with a trailer behind them, that's what I have. The knowledge, all the background that I have comes from my personal pickup that I use a very small percentage of the time for business. Uh, so, yeah, that that's that. As far as trans, I've covered it. Now, as far as oil, guys, I use Schaefer's. I use Schaefer 7000 1540. And that's some solid oil. Your average conventional oil, it's good up to like 235, 240. Um, so do I want to see oil levels uh, at that temp? No, but they, they, they don't scare me at 240, you know? Well, not that they don't scare me. I just, I'm not freaking out. If I saw 215 on coolant, that freaks me out a lot more than oil at 240. Let's put it that way. 240 oil is like 208, 210 coin. You know, it's up there. It's getting into the red zone, but that's not scary. Typically, you run, you run into a problem with coolant way before you run the problem with oil. So, let's just say 240 is the max you should see on your oil. Guys have done way more than that. Uh, I talked to one of my buddies. He has a 2017 Ram as well. And he just, he had to pull over at 226 or 236 on the coolant. He's, I don't know, that's just too much. Anyways, and oil pressure is oil pressure, you know. As long as it's between 50 and 52 or whatever, you're good. Um, and that's driving down the road. Idling, you should see anywhere between 30 to 32, depending on the oil, uh, depending on the uh, ambient temperature, and uh, just depends what part of the what part of the oil change you're at. If you're towards the end, you'll be at 30. If you got fresher oil in there, better oil, you'll probably be at 31, 32. So it loses viscosity over time. Anyway, so those are the quick numbers I had to share with you guys. I didn't have to. I just want to. One day, guys, I promise I'll sit down and I'll talk about personally myself, where I'm coming from, and where am I gathering all this knowledge, you know. I'm not the regular Joe that buys one pickup and all of a sudden I'm telling you for sure this is how it is. No, I gather. I average it out between all my pickups. You know, one pickup is never identical to another. They all have their variances. They all have their differences. Um, they get used for the same thing, but you know, they, one will do better gas mileage than the other. But I'm not going to get into that. So, but yeah, um, let me know, guys, if you guys really want to see that video. <laughs> I should call it a face reveal. It should be a face reveal. What I, but I realize you guys really never really see me in these videos. Um, I'll set up a camera if you guys want to know who, where, what, and uh, get a get to know me a little bit personally. Um, I have started a little project. I'll probably talk about it in that video so you guys get a better idea once again. So I'm not just some kind of guy on YouTube that gets bored out of his mind and starts recording. Um, sometimes, a lot of times, I start recording when I have time. and You can call me bored or whatever. I usually don't like to sit around and do nothing. But uh, most of the time, it is to share with you guys. That's initially what my channel started with. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll get into that later. Anyways, guys, as always, have a mighty fine day. Blessings. Goodbye.